Grand Blue Fantasy Relink recently had an event where they invited creators to play the first two hours of the game and a demo where two devs went through an end game raid. Now I wasn't invited to this event, but thankfully the creators who were documented it very well. The end game appears to hit the difficulty right on the money, giving us a challenge and not being something that we can just mindlessly clear. The raid boss that they did fight has been stated to be one of many, so I have high hopes that the difficulty will continue to increase and present different and unique challenges with every raid to come. That being said, let's get into highlighting the mechanics shown in this raid and discuss how Grand Blue Fantasy Relink is going to take action RPGs to the next level with its co-op post story content. Now, before we get into the actual raid, I want to catch everyone new up to speed and address a few frequently asked questions about the end game that I've been seeing in my comments. Comments. These raids are four player online co-op, but they can also be done solo. When you are playing solo, the rest of your party is going to be filled by AI controlled characters. If you want to avoid playing alone though, be sure to join the discord and subscribe to the channel so that way we can all party up in the future. I really appreciate all the support you guys have shown the last few videos. So let's go ahead and shoot to get this one to 50 likes, but let's get back to discussing the raids. I just wanted to show some love to the community who's shown love to me. Grand Blue Fantasy Relink will be a very grindy game and the incentive to participate in these end game raids is obviously gonna be the loot and the character progression. The more objectives that you clear, the better loot that you're gonna receive when you finish the raid. The loot that you're gonna receive from these bosses is gonna vary from crafting mats, which is gonna be used to get you better armor, better weapons, to sigils, which are going to be able to be equipped to your character to make you stronger. There are a few other things, but these two are going to be the main highlights of why you're grinding out these raids. For those of you not familiar, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink originates from a gacha game, so I do expect it to maintain those grindy character progression elements. Now, I've never played the Grand Blue Fantasy gacha, but based on you guys' comments, it seems like they've done an extremely detailed job when it comes to porting over the gotcha's mechanics into an action RPG and kind of sticking true to that Grand Blue Fantasy gotcha game. The last thing I want to add here is that this is just one of many endgame bosses that we're seeing. It's not like they're just showing us the one highlight of the endgame prior to launch and we have nothing else to look forward to. There's going to be several bosses and that's why they're so comfortable showing this one ahead of launch. At this point, about what, two months ahead of launch? They have stated that there's going to be 100 plus hours of post story content. And so all of this is in addition to the 20 hour story campaign. We're going to be getting a massive bang for our buck. Now that you're all up to speed on how the end game works, let's break down some of the mechanics we saw in this raid. I'll have the full unedited video linked in the description down below if you want to check it out on Arex Gaming's channel. But let's get down to breaking down the mechanics. To open up, the boss spawned with buffs, and the devs stated that they had to DPS down the adds, grab the balls that they dropped, and throw it at the boss to clear these buffs. The next mechanic we see is going to be overdrive, and so the boss enters overdrive, and we see it dropping these different blasts and lasers at the same time that you have to avoid. Now they aren't doing much damage here, so I'm unsure what difficulty these raids are set to, but the devs did have some type of strategy when going into this raid. In the Erex video, they explained that the dev's strategy was to use Vayne to shield Eo while she charged her big damage spell and prevent her from being CC'd or knocked out of it. I don't know that they necessarily needed that to succeed on this difficulty, but once it's increased, I can see where building a strategy with friends will be key when taking down these bigger raids. So far, hey, we've seen a red dragon and we've seen a blue dragon. And anytime I see a dragon, I'm just sold. Every single time, every game, show me a dragon to fight and you got me. Now, I don't know what other raid bosses or type of monsters we're gonna have to fight, but they've got us down in the dragon department. The best comparison though that I can make for Grand Blue Fantasy Relink's in game is gonna be Lost Ark's raids with Monster Hunter's character and gear progression. Now that's a good segue though for us to start discussing the difficulty of the raids in Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. It's been stated that each raid will have different levels of difficulty that will also increase the amount of rewards that you receive when you clear it. I made the comparison to Lost Ark's raids earlier, but I'll elaborate more on it here now that we're talking about difficulty. For those of you not familiar, 
Lost Ark has several raids that vary significantly from one another. Each raid has a unique gimmick that the party has to work together to achieve that can be simple as throwing objects at a boss like we saw in the blue boss fight earlier or coordinating standing in 12 different locations and rotating clockwise every time the boss does a specific attack to avoid the whole party being wiped. As you can see, they've thought about this so much when it comes to Lost Ark to where being coordinated with your team is almost a must and being in a Discord call is going to help things out so significantly when it comes to clearing this as opposed to just taking these things on with the random group. But I bring all this up to say that these things seem like small or simple gimmicks but they do elevate the boss fight. These are the types of things I hope to see in Grand Blue Fantasy Relink and the difference in difficulty increasing isn't just allowing the raid boss to do more damage. I hope it comes with other gimmicks or things that we have to coordinate together as a team. Now, I know that this is a tall task to achieve, but the development team has taken their time with this game and have given it so much love and I wouldn't be surprised if these things are already implemented into the game. We just haven't seen them because they're in either higher difficulties for the raids that we've seen or other raids altogether that we're going to be able to see at launch. I know that it's a little early to start putting this in the air, but hear me out. I really believe that these co-op raids of Grand Blue Fantasy Relink really could change the future of JRPGs depending on how successful it is. They've crafted a solid campaign, which is the bare minimum that we expect from JRPGs. But in addition to that, they've expanded the life of the game by adding a hundred more hours of post campaign content with these co-op raids. Imagine if a game as beautiful as Tales of Arise gave us the ability to fight Zugul raid bosses. They've already created an innovative combat system where each character plays significantly different from one another, similar to the Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. But unfortunately, that unique combat system has to be put to rest after just one story campaign and a DLC. I believe these co-op raids is the next evolution of action JRPGs and Grand Blue Fantasy Relink is going to be the success story that's going to push us there. We're seeing more and more gacha games releasing on PC and consoles and actually being considered quote unquote console games instead of just mobile games. But I'll stop rambling because I'm probably going to make an entire video dedicated to this topic and this one's just dedicated for Endgame. I don't know about you guys, but my hype for Grand Blue Fantasy Relink Raids is at an all time high after this latest footage they released. This recent press event has given so much more insight into what we can expect with the game, allowing us to see as far as the first two hours. Now, after everything I explained, I hope you're excited too, because it appears Grand Blue Fantasy Relink is going to live up to all the hype that it's been building over the years of anticipation. Now that you know how raids work, you can check out this video right here to help you decide who you plan to main and take into these raids come the launch of Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. But thank you guys for your time. Don't forget to give this video a like and I'll catch you guys in the next one.